Hey, what's up, you freaky gamers? I am Project13 from battle-hub.com here to bring you a bit of a video about the Ask Dice Developers first Q&A to lead game designer Alan Kurtz. And while I do that, I'll share some fantastic footage. Some footage that I feel quite fantastic with my little run here and the little bird tearing it up. And if you have not used the little bird, or if you have not played Battlefield 4, or even if you have used and played, you'll know that the little bird can be quite frustrating. But anyway, before we get on to Alan Kurtz, I'll let you guys know that earlier, well, in my last video, earlier in the week, I mentioned that the first community mission was up. The collect 10 million dog tags which I found to be completely fun. I spent a bit of time just trying to collect some tags. And we're up to 4.8 million across all platforms, just a little bit more. We've got 72 hours to go, and that means there's about 5.2 million tags to be collected across all platforms. And like, in a way, it sounds like a lot. It isn't, but it is a lot. Because how often do we collect tags in every map? So I'm really excited. I hope we've reached the goal. I I would hate for us to get extremely close and miss out. So get clicking those tags, guys. Get ranking up. Anyway, ask Alan Kurtz. He picked seven questions out of the thousands of comments posted in the forum. And I won't, I won't run through them all because there's a lot of information to share and there's a lot of personal views of my own. But I will let you know that the questions that he picked wasn't more related to are you going to fix this, yes or no? Are you going to fix this, yes or no? It was more towards understanding how these guys at DICE develop their games. And these range from the methods they use on deciding what weapon is has what advantage over one using a rock paper scissors method how they design their characters and also how they view the game and how they review the feedback that they get which in my personal opinion opinion was fantastic the questions that were chosen were ideal especially with the current thoughts and opinions of the game and it kind of gives people the incentive, like once reading and understanding what has been written by Alan, how they review and look at our feedback and how they make their changes. So, to give you a bit of an update, there is going to be an update for the mobile anti-aircraft, which he mentions, that they're looking at pushing the mobile AA into the battlefield a bit more instead of sitting at the back which is fantastic I personally find it a little bit frustrating that these guys or the mobile AA can sit in the red zone and take out jets attack helicopters, little birds, transport and I feel that there needs to be a bit of a penalty towards doing that in my personal opinion whether that's shorter range, which they did mention, also longer lock-on or reload times. It's just a little bit unfair. But I hope and I trust DICE that the new update comes out will clarify and mould the game to make it a little bit more even. And they pretty much explain how they view the game and how they review it, as, as I just mentioned before. So it's quite good that they've done this. So anyway, I'll leave a link t um, to the post at blog on blogs.battlefield.com. I may, in fact, if I have enough time during this weekend, write a full thoughts and opinions on the whole answers. So be sure to check it out. Read it for yourself. And yeah, let me know. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you asked a question. Anyway, remember to rate subscribe and like this post be sure to see some more in the future peace